to DIY Solar Homestead. So this weekend is a number of collaborations, Yankee Outdoor Adventure, and then Ohio, Southern Ohio, the long name, Southern Ohio DIY Solar Power. And he gave me a lot of batteries on some of my other equipment. And now I'm here with River Ponics with Matt. Hi Matt. Cheers. And DIY. He's going to give me this little system here for my wintertime indoor garden. And look at this. What a feast. Look at this stuff. So he's got the he's got the river ponics. He's got a channel. So there's a separator in the middle. I'll show you here. Water comes in one way and out the other. So it flows like a river. Isn't that beautiful? And I've got to show you this. Look at the size of this. That's one tomato. Holy smokes. So seven foot? Six foot? It's probably six foot right now. There's a, It'll probably be about 14 by the end of the season. It's got some produce coming in. You can see. Roma's back there. I had some that, tomatoes from back here. That was I, that cherry tomato plant in a five-gallon pot, and that thing is just out of control. I didn't anticipate it getting that large, so it's kind of taking over some out, overcrowding other plants. But the jalapenos down below, bell peppers are just now starting to come in. Yeah, I kind of got a late start this past uh, spring. But, yeah, so this is the magic. This is the brewer. And it's gravity fed out of here to the grow system. This is where you would put all your nutrients. And this whole system's only running on 40 watts. You only have an aeration pump and a water pump that feeds this whole thing. So it's super efficient. So with solar power, I have never personally experienced running solar with this system. But hopefully with this collaboration, we could probably do something like that and see how this would uh, operate with solar. And it, in that instance, you could um, even cycle your system where this doesn't have to run constantly. So you could probably get away and be really super efficient having a solar backup or just strictly solar power constantly, you know and have a cycle on a timer. It'll be really interesting to see how we can operate this and its functionality with so many options out there these days. But the proof's in the pudding. This system runs, is a hybrid system. So it's, you can use soil and then with the water running oh. like a river through the grow channels, you got your hydroponics as well. So it's like a dual root zone system where you have your roots that grow in the soil and they grow in the grow channels too in the water. Will you pick that bucket up so they can see the wicking system? Sure. So there's the wicks. Now normally you can just use one wick. This is a four gallon container and you can use one two inch wick with this but I went ahead and used two. But you can get away with one. It's kind of preference, really. So that's how it, it's a self-watering system, so it takes care of itself. So even if you had a power outage, let's say, you're using soil, so your soil is saturated, and you have water in your grow channels at all times. You can control the level of water in your grow channels. So let's say you lose power for a week. Your soil saturation is going to you know, prevent you from having any crop loss, for one. Beautiful. And you can still wick up. I mean, if worst case scenario, you can you can manually put water in your grow channels to feed your plants. But that's a catastrophe kind of event if you're you know out of power for a month or something. And some people have rain barrels just in case. <laughs> yeah, you can absolutely look this up for um, rainwater collection and have it gravity feed out to your system as well. Absolutely. I do have two patents on this. I've been working on this for seven years now. 
perfecting it. I have some uh, new channels coming too. So I can part and piece all this out. So if you're interested in a brewer or the grow channels or just whatever you see here, I mean containers, lights even, I can source anything you're looking for. Everybody, so. go ahead. When I get home, do the editing for all these videos I've done this weekend. The links will be down below. Everybody subscribe. River Ponics if you want to grow indoors like, like I do in the winter time. That was the only way I, I figured I could get away with being called a homestead in the city. I'm growing my own food, some, and I got chickens and <laughs> solar everywhere. So <laughs> thank you, Matt, for well, meeting thank you. me. Thanks for coming and down. Thank you for the gift. Yeah. Sweetness. That is, thank you. Thanks that for That is coming. beautiful. And so now, two people give me products that, that I have to live up to their expectations to get this running soon. The pressure's on. I like pressure. <laughs> it's the time that I don't have to get everything put together. Whew. So get your magic on and, and get going. Subscribe to these, these amazing people. And we will see you again on another video. And have a, a nice sunny day. <laughs>